Last time you asked me how adsorption act happens. Mm-hmm. So today I'm going to tell you what is the mechanism of adsorption. Like cool. how adsorption happens. Okay. So last class I told you what exactly adsorption is. Can you tell me what is adsorption? It is the phenomena that happens on the surface where particles called as adsorbate they sit on a surface and we call that surface as adsorbent. Correct. Okay. So adsorption depends on two important criteria mm-hmm. that is adsorbate and the adsorbent. So in this chapter we are going to study how a solid acts as the adsorbent to mm-hmm. adsorb gas. <clears throat> okay. So the solid we can take the example of charcoal. And the gas particles is ammonia. We can take any gas particle, but okay. let us take ammonia. Okay. But charcoal is a good adsorbent. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So let me consider this as a charcoal. Mm-hmm. Okay. Think that this is a charcoal. Yeah. And there are some minute pores which is present on the surface of charcoal. <clears throat> if you observe okay. it carefully, you can see this. Okay. And now when this ammonia gas, let me put ammonia or represent ammonia gas this way. Okay. Okay. And if you observe this carefully, you can see that the surface of the charcoal looks somewhat like this. So there are some pits. Yes. Those are the pores, right? Pores. Okay. Okay. So when this ammonia gas is coming in contact with this charcoal, Mm -hmm. there are some attractive forces Mm-hmm. Present on the surface of charcoal. Okay. So that attractive force can be anything. It can mm-hmm. be physical mm-hmm. or it can be chemical. Okay. So when this ammonia particle comes and adsorbs on the surface, what happens here is large amount of heat is liberated. <clears throat> so we can call this reaction as exothermic. Because you might have studied in your lower classes that exothermic reaction. No, no, no. <laughs> Which one? Because you have studied now. Don't want. So exothermic reaction means where did I stop here? I don't know. Okay. When the particle of ammonia gets and sits on the surface of this charcoal, Mm -hmm. large amount of heat is liberated. Mm. So the reaction is called exothermic. Okay. So we can say heat is liberated. So the change in enthalpy is negative. Yes. So there is something called enthalpy change. Mm -hmm. But this process where the heat is evolved, this is called enthalpy. Enthalpy is energy. Okay. Enthalpy of adsorption. So basically for this adsorption, how much ever heat is? Heat is liberated. Is liberated. Mm -hmm. That enthalpy is called enthalpy of adsorption. Okay. So, you might have learned about thermodynamic equation. Yes, the first law. No. Oh, the Gibbs free energy. Yes. So, we have Gibbs free energy equation. I think I remember this. Um, Delta G. That's the change in the Gibbs free energy, right? Yes. Delta G equals to delta H um, minus T delta S. Oh, wow. You remember this? Yep. So, delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. What is delta S again? Where delta G, I'll let you know. Mm. Where delta... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay. <laughs> Continue. Where delta G, yeah. where delta G is Gibbs free energy change. Delta H is change in change. enthalpy. Mm-hmm. And delta S is the entropy change, change. In entropy. Yes. So, 
as we know from this reaction mm. that the heat is liberated mm. so we can say here delta h is, is negative. negative because more and more heat liberation means we can tell that the energy liberated is negative or enthalpy yes. ch- enthalpy change is negative mm. and we have something called entropy mm-hmm. now gas initial initially it will be in the disordered form correct when it gets settled on the surface mm. from disordered form it forms an orderly arranged system mm-hmm. so what should happen to delta s uh entropy should decrease so the change in entropy must be negative yes the so change in entropy is negative <laughs> okay so as delta h and delta s becomes negative mm. the question is what happens to delta g mm. here delta g also will be negative why because the delta h is more negative so wait what you're saying is delta h is negative but delta s is also negative so this becomes positive yes however delta h is more negative than delta, delta s so okay that's why delta g turns out to be negative and if delta g is negative so we call this reaction spontaneous yes so this becomes spontaneous oh, that's why it happens all by itself yes ooh okay so this is how the adsorption takes place So adsorption basically happens because of these attractive forces which could be either due to a physical origin or due to some chemical origin. Yes, right? So okay. The reaction becomes exothermic and that's why we have thermodynamic equations. <clears throat> But I still have some questions. For example, I want to know more about these attractive forces. You said there could be of physical origin and there could be of chemical origin. Could you tell me more about that? Good question, Mahesh. I will tell that in the next episode. <clears throat> okay, so stay tuned and subscribe. Chemistry rocks.